Hello. Good morning. Hi. Coming at you barefaced. We are going to be just doing a get ready with me today. I have a breakfast date and I want to look cute, but not <laughs> over the top. I want to look breakfast appropriate. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do just some pretty breakfast date makeup. Oh, start to finish. I haven't even done skincare yet. <sighs> it was quite early. And I don't even know if I want to be awake yet. But let's get started. I'm going to take first my Colleen Rothschild Micro Mineral Soothing Toner and give my skin a little once over with this. Tiniest bit actually does the job. You don't really need a cotton round if you don't want to with this product. But this just kind of gets things ready for the hydration and oh, feels so good and soothing on the skin, especially when you got lives more with crazy weather that can't decide if it wants to be hot, cold, or what. Right now it's it's like a cold swamp outside or a cool swamp. It's 50 something degrees, but somehow still feels hot. I don't know. I don't know. It's so, so, so humid. <laughs> so humid. All right, next we're gonna do some Dr. Barbara Strunk uh, Super Anti-Aging Serum. And just do a little bit of this on the skin. We're going to take a little bit of the Herbivore Green Magic. This is the Sika and Ceramides Redness Reducing Serum. Don't have a ton of redness today, but we're going to put a little bit on anyway. Just a just a teensy, teensy amount. Just a little squirt. I just really like the way this stuff feels. <laughs> it's very, very like skin loving type of product with all the ceramides in it. Just feels nice. Feels very nice. I did use a uh, some exfoliate day for yesterday. The skin's still feeling that a little bit. All right, that just oh feels so good. It's like a hug, a nice sweet hug on the face. A little bit of eye cream. This is the Dr. Barbara Strom Super Anti Aging Eye Cream. Under here, tiny, just a small amount. You don't need much. Her products are quite potent. Just pat a bit of that under there. And now I'm gonna grab some of the super anti-aging face cream. Again, just a small amount. I since I have really gotten on it with the skincare and found what products truly work for me and have improved my overall skin health, I can't remember the last time I really reached for a primer aside from a very particular circumstance. Like either I'm I'm just trying to pan this one from NYX and uh the other day I used the Magic Perfecting Base because I was going for a very specific, ultra perfected, one my skin to look like plastic kind of thing. I was I was doing a a cyberpunk look. I had I had a vision and I wanted everything to look as uncanny valley and like just hyper realistic, I guess, or as like video game like as possible was my my goal. Okay. And now we'll do a little bit of sunscreen as well. I'm going to do the uh, Weightless Mineral Liquid Sunscreen from First Aid Beauty. This one you got to shake. I'm also going to give my skin just a minute for that skincare to soak in. One of the few that does not make me itch and plays beautifully with makeup. It actually kind of functions as a face primer as well. So it does double duty. And it just disappears into the skin. It is one of the most magical ones ever. <laughs> but if you ask me, skin prep, skin prep really is the most important step. Like, you could stop here and be done. Because your skin's happy and taken care of. The skin alone is truly the most important part to me. As long as the skin is looking, is hydrated... Get some good skincare going on. Everything else will just fall in place and kind of work. If the skin's happy, the makeup's gonna look good. And you don't have to put on a million serums or any of that. Just whatever is for your specific skin needs, do that and a nice moisturizer and you're set. You don't have to spend high-end prices. You don't have to use Dr. Barbara Strom. I'm using it because I have it. Uh, I was lucky enough to be gifted it from Dr. Barbara Strom. But you know what? Dollar General has great skincare. Walmart has great skincare. Even Sephora, you can get more affordable options 
and skincare that comes in at Roundy that really isn't that much more than the drugstore prices, to be honest with you. Because I feel like drugstore skincare has skyrocketed. I was looking at some from L'Oreal the other day. I was like, girl, I'll just buy the Ulla Henriksen. Come on, I'll just get the drug elephant. It's $10 more. I don't really, I'm not good with the skincare dupes, but um, if that's something you're interested in, I might could investigate a little bit more into is like finding some good dupes for high-end skincare. Um, anyway, but yeah, I don't think you need to break the bank for skincare. That's what I'm saying. I'm put a little lip gloss on, get the lips prepped as well, or lip balm rather. This is also Colleen Rothschild. This is the vitamin E lip moisturizer. Beautiful moisturizer. I also really like the Laneige and um, e.l.f. lip balm. Good stuff. Let's prime the eyes. I'm going with my NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Primer. Now, even though I don't think face primer is essential, for the most part, eye primer is essential for me. I have rather oily lids and they're hooded, so things get creasy and cakey and gunky if I don't prime them properly. What is your favorite eye primer? I'm ready to try a new one. This one's fine. No complaints. I just, I feel like uh, testing a new one. I've used the Milani one forever. It's a good one. But uh, if you have any suggestions of any new ones on the market that you think are amazing for hooded widdly lids that aren't super drying either and cause texture. That's the thing. Some primers to me make my lids look creepy because they just suck too much life out of them. All right, and I'm just gonna make sure there's no excess skincare in my eyebrows. I'll take a Q-tip and just make sure. Just right there, didn't have anything in it. So let's do some brows. I'm gonna take the Build a Brow from Maybelline. Awesome product, absolutely love it. Still loving it, in fact. It's just so, so, so good. I do need a little spoolie though. Just gonna brush my five brow hairs into place. And this is just a little pin with the setting gel on the end. The mention today's makeup is also nice and kind of a little bit quicker. Also, just soft, easy, fast. I know I did kind of a, like an elevated everyday makeup. Recently, this is the even quicker version. Mostly it's just me getting ready using products that I like. All right, and there is one eyebrow complete. Have I become more into a softer brow? Maybe, maybe so. And filling in any sparse patches and elongating a little bit. All right, I'm gonna give that a second to dry and then we'll take the gel through and lock them in. All right, now it's the brows. Pretty much done. I'm gonna take just a little, uh, we're actually gonna just do skin first today because I am keeping it so light on the eyes that I'm doing skin first. I'm gonna take a little combo of the e.l.f. Beauty Wands, Halo Glow Beauty Wands, and the two contour shades, the Light Medium and the Fair Light. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the contour, the Light Medium, which is the cool tone, I stand by underpainting being one of the most natural ways you can do your makeup and still have a bit of something going on. I think a little bit underpainting can look super natural, but look, just put together and gives you a lot of grace. All right, and then to bring in just a kiss of warmth, we'll take the light medium shade. Now I'm gonna take the beauty wand and I think a little bit of magic hour just for a little glow for today. We're not gonna do full highlighter, we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna bounce it out with more of a rosy blush onto the brush from the applicator. I feel like that applies these blush ones a little bit better because I feel like they can dry down a little quicker than the others. And since I'm using a glowy foundation, I'm not worried about a full-on highlighter either. This can do a little bit of both. I'm gonna do a bit of concealing. I'm gonna take a bit of the Maybelline Age Rewind in the brightening shade. Just right into 
this inner part and a bit right here just to kind of disguise how sleepy I am and how terribly I have been sleeping. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into me, but I'm just all aboard the insomnia train. It's, what sucks about it is like, yeah, you're awake, but you're also kind of useless. Like, you just, your brain is fried. Then I'm take some of the bear with me from NYX. Yeah, I totally stand by underpainting, and if I have time to do it, I will always take the opportunity to do that. Just, everything's kind of buffed in. I love kind of the process of everything coming together <laughs> with this method also. All right, now we're going to take the Misha Glow Layering Cushion Foundation on the rest of the face and just a little light layer. All right, now we'll set this down with a little bit of powder just in the T-zone. I want to keep the glow everywhere else because I, I like it. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Makeup Revolution powder because it's what's in front of me currently. <clears throat> this is the IRL powder. This is a pretty mattifying powder, so I'm going to go in with a, a light hand on a little eyeshadow brush and just tippy tap under here and across the lids. Make sure there's no creasing. But I just want to mattify the center portion in the little areas that I don't want shiny. But we'll let the glow kind of come in from everywhere else. So like the chin area and the eye area. And just around the pore area. And like around right in here where I do have some pores and tend to get a bit oilier, but definitely not a heavy application by any means. I'm going to grab a little bit of the Filmstar Bronze and Glow from Charlotte just to kind of reinforce everything, layer it up the way I like to do. And I'm just taking a very fluffy small brush, touch into the contour bronze, just a whisper of it. Alright, and I'm going to grab a bit of the highlighter from the same palette, just a small amount, just like that. So you get a good bit of glow already. A little on the brow bone. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that just here. And now for my blush, I'm gonna grab MAC Mineralized Blush in Happy Go Rosy, which I think I called it Rosie a Go-Go <laughs> Instagram post the other day, whatever. <laughs> I would take that on a fluffy brush. Generous size blush brush, I think. Could really work that in, make sure it's not too much on the brush. And then just lightly pat, pat, pat. And so that'd be right here on the outer corner of the eye as well. All right, and then for the eyes, I'm gonna grab my little tattoo liner from, oh, well, I think it's gone. It just, the rest fell out, what, well, okay. That's a, that's an empty. I gotta find another brown eyeliner now. Shoot, I don't know if I have one. What row? Ah, oh, here's, well here's one from Marc Jacobs that is not, not new, but that has been out way too long, but for some reason, it's never dried out and just won't end. <laughs> Take a little bit of this at the, right through the lashes. And we're gonna jump over to, you guessed it, I, I need a nude. Because I don't know how to use any other palettes right now. <laughs> My obsession. But today, we're gonna go into a little bit of mesh. Bring that through the socket line. And transition ever so slightly. I mean, just enough to add a little definition. Not a huge amount. And touch a stone. Just right out there. All right, I'm just going to take just a kiss of wit, just a little bit of rosiness. 
Well, hi, puppy. Where you been? Where have you been, pumpkin? Have you been laying on the futon in the office? Have you been snugging in there? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to grab a little fair. For the shimmer on the lid, we're taking sheen. I'm taking out the same brush. And I'm just going to dust it all the way across. A very broad application, just having a nice glossy looking lid. You can actually take your finger. Get that on there. And just gives this beautiful wet effect. That I think is so pretty for just a soft look. It's, it's just, it's catches the light. It just looks wet and glowy and so beautiful. It has these micro like diamond effect to it. It just, it looks truly uh, like glossy, but it's not. It just feels like silk when you touch it. And I like to do it very big. Just let it kind of just blend out. I don't care if you know, it goes above the crease, whatever. I think it just looks pretty. I'm going to do just a kiss of Nia. Right here. That's why I like this palette because it just, it's like no makeup makeup that looks a little bit more. It, there's something about it. I'm going to grab just a little bit of silhouette and a liner brush. And just stamp some of that right here. little definition on the lash line. Not a wing or nothing like that. And just let that be soft and kind of disappear. All right, and on the lower lash line, I'm just gonna grab a little more stone. And I'm gonna put a little bit of sheen. This is like makeup that I would go for for like a daytime date. I think it's perfect breakfast date mate. And who am I going on a date with, you ask? My husband. Who else? Honestly, I think a toastier blush would look pretty with this, rather than the pinky blush. I'm going to put a little bit of warm soul over top. I'm not loving the pink with the eyes. Alright, and then some mascara to finish it off. And a little lash curl. I'm using the L'Oreal Panorama. In black brown. Okay, I'm gonna take my hair down, my little clips. I did a blowout today. So we've got nice blown out hair. I'm really liking. It turned out really good today. That's throwing a little bit of jewelry though. All right, and lips, I'm gonna take Max Spice. Should we do Super Lustrous and Mink or Whiskey Business? I think we're gonna use Mink. I haven't used that one in a bit. And Max Spice does not go with it. Not at all. So I'm going to pull a cooler lip liner. I think we'll go with BFF lip liner from ColourPop. And we'll do Revlon Super Lustrous in Mink. Yeah. That's nice. Put a little bit of gloss, maybe? I think a touch of gloss would be pretty. I'll do a little bit of the Fruit Fetish from Milani. And Coco Cocal. Pina Colada. That's what these kind of smell like. Okay, and here is my breakfast date makeup look. Just soft and pretty. Very soft. Very pretty. Very minimalish ish. <laughs> as minimal as one can be with underpainting. But as minimal as I get. Unless I'm just going to the gym. This is this is it. But I wanted to do something just pretty. I, I love just this on the eyes. I think it's so nice that sheen shade because it's truly just this sheen of wetness and it's pretty. Yeah, now I'm ready to go on my little breakfast date with my husband because that's just a nice thing to do. Breakfast dates. Do you guys ever do that? Like, I know everybody does like date night. Why not breakfast date? Mostly because he works night shifts. So it's still kind of like a date night. It just happens to be in the morning. <laughs> so anyway, yep, that's all for today. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you guys 
in the next one. Stay safe and stay spooky and uh, let me know some other looks you would like to see and ideas. Any new content ideas you have, always, I'm all ears. Let me know down below because girl, I'm doing five videos a week. You start burning through the content a lot quicker. <laughs> Anyways, all right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.